Um, my name's TT and Nia was my baby FC. FC stands for favorite cousin, but in our family, everybody's an FC, I guess, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my name is Young Lee, same. Nia is my favorite cousin, little cousin, <laughs> yeah. Last time I talked to her was on Saturday. I think I talked to her on Sunday. I talked to Neil like pretty much like every day. Like not even about music half of the time. Like just to like just see what like she was doing type stuff or she see what I was doing. Like yeah, I talked to her like pretty much every day. Yeah, DNG stand for Dope Music Group. Um, it's like a family. Pretty much like everybody on the label is like family or somebody I knew for a long time. And Posse TC, she <laughs> she was on the label, but she in school now, so she's taking a break with the music for right now. And then we got Dre, uh, Hot TZ, Ten Gotti, and we had Girls in the Hood, which was the group Nia was in. It was Nia, Tashaya, Queen, Diamond, and um, Tyra. Tyra. Mm -hmm. Posse was already started, and um, Nia and Tashaya, they're my cousins, and um, they will always be around us. And so one day this girl was like trying to get at one of our other cousins, Val. And so Nia and Tashaya was like, let's make a song, let's make a song, like, let's do that. So then they made a song, and, <laughs> and yeah, it, it went everywhere, like everybody was posting it, and people wanted to fight us and everything. We had a video, and then um, that's when Lee had came up with the idea to make Girls in the Hood like an entourage group for Posse. Like, they were basically our, our, our hype girls, you know? Like, you know, they, they get hyphy with us and for us. Mm -hmm. Girls in the Hood, first of all, that was already like a, like a click, I guess, because with the whole Posse situation, my mom felt like she's overprotective. So she felt like Posse was getting like big to the point where they need body yards. <laughs> and I was like, no, mom, like, we can save money. We won't need no body yards. We won't need to pay nobody. I said, we already got enough like little cousins and everything, and, like anything go down and everybody go throw hands. So that's how we <laughs> came up with Girls in the Hood. Like it was all like just our little cousins and like family and everything. And then like, like she said, one day somebody came with them foul and decided they wanted to make a song. It was, uh, we was at Tyson studio, R.P. to Tyson. And Nia and Tashaya, they wrote the song and recorded it. And I was like, oh, y'all can really rap. Like why y'all didn't tell me y'all can rap? So that's when I decided, okay, now let's like try to take the music thing serious and try to see what we could do. Yeah, and the song blew up kind of fast. Like the first day on SoundCloud, we dropped it on SoundCloud, yeah, had like what, like like 2,000 views, like within the first hour for like their first song, 2,000 views in the first hour. That was pretty dope. And then we dropped the video, and the video was up for like 10 minutes until I got a phone call <laughs> from they uh, from they pops that said, take it down. But I said, I'll take it down at first. <laughs> and then. Yeah, then we had it on, uh, what's that thing called? It's not public, but it's like, you only can like, watch it if I send you the link. Yeah, I had, it, I had it on there. And then like people started finding it, and that's how I started, like, numbers started going up a little bit after that. And then I had made it public probably like two months ago because I figured like, okay, it all died down. Like, Girls in the Hood, we all started getting serious again with the music because we had to take a break for a little bit because like people were like in school, had to like finish school, graduate. I just wanted to focus on school for that, that last year. And then after the school, we'll set the music serious. I mean, we just in summer, they just finished school like a month ago. So, Girls in the Hood, they were supposed to come and record their like debut mixtape before summer ended. And by the time school started back, they would have had like a whole project done to like see what they could have did. But they were already out of school, but they still have that high school fan base kind of sorted. And we wanted to like just keep riding that wave. It was right before I was going to LA, California, Georgia. I was driving to LA, like literally like an hour later. And I was, I was on target with my mom. My mom just like, then they were just like shopping for like, you know, like little stuff I need for the road type stuff. And my auntie called me and then she was like, did your nanny call you? Or did nanny call you, tell you the news? I was like, no, like what happened? And then she was like, Nia just got killed. I was like, what? Like, I was like, what you mean she just got killed? Like, she was like, somebody just killed her on BART. And I was like, that's, like, I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I thought, like, when she, like, when she first called me, I thought it was, like, some girls or something like I had jumped her. I thought, like, some girls had did it. But when she told me, like, when I got to the bar station to find out what happened, it was, like, just, like, really, just, like, just blew my mind. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know what to say, really.
Yeah, um, I was at school and I was just kicking it with my friends. And um, my phone, it was, everyone was trying to call me at the same time. So like my phone was glitching. And I was like, you see my phone? What's, like, what's the matter? Like so many numbers were calling me and I was like, something bad just happened. I know it did. Cause it's too late and why is everybody calling me? And like, um, I answered for him and nobody else. And then he was like, did you hear what just happened? And I was like, uh, I was like, no. And he was like, uh, somebody just killed Nia. And then like, yeah, I just, I, I like, I dropped my phone. Cause I didn't believe it. Cause I had just got off the phone with her the day before. And we were on the phone for like an hour, like talking about everything. She was supposed to come see me. Um, like in like two weeks. I hope the justice system, like justice system, get it right because I ain't gonna lie, if he pull that mental illness stuff and get off or a low charge, it's about to get ugly out here. Like Nia told me one time too, if, like something happened to her. Like she was like, you know how like the police always like police shooting and stuff. Like she told me once, I was sitting in the studio, and then she was like, if something ever happens to me like that, like, oh, I don't want y'all to march. I want y'all to burn the city down. <laughs> so that's what she wanted. So if they get it wrong, so we go, that's what we go do for her. Yeah, um, <laughs> me, I'm just, I don't, I'm, I feel crazy. Like, you know, like that was my baby. Like she called me for everything. So I feel like honestly, I don't even want like the judges and shit to handle him because I know exactly. I feel like I know how it's gonna come out. Like, I, I don't know if I should be saying this right now, but I feel like he deserves what my, what my baby got. He deserves what she got. He deserves what he gave her. That's how I feel. Of course we've been thinking about it, but like everything is so new. We don't know exactly what we're gonna do or how we're gonna move about it. Cause like we're still, still I still wake up, I can't even move. Like, you feel me? Like, but um, I wanna do a lot. I really do. And I'm going to do a lot. I know I am. I wanna like get young girls together, talk to them. Cause that's like, that's, that's, that's what I was to her. Like she came to me and talked to me about everything. I want to do that for like a lot of little girls that feel like they don't have their family. You know, just like try to do some things that I know she would like. And then about the whole white supremacy thing, like I feel like we should, <laughs> I don't know. Like I, what can you do? Yeah, like just stick together. I want, I want to, I want to put something together where we can all stick together. But it's like that's been try, people have been trying to do that for years. So what exactly could I do? But that's a great question because I don't know. Mm hmm Like I don't know. It's so much we could do, but what is, what is it going to do? I want to, I want to do something that's going to impact the whole world for a very long time, forever, so that this won't happen to no other family. And so that this will happen to no other little girl, especially one that had a future. Like, stupid. I found doing like Nia, she was like real passionate about music. Like real passionate. And I told her. And like, makeup. And I, I mm -hmm. told her like, okay, I, I was like in a situation where I wasn't able to record for a while. And like she'll only record with me. She didn't want to record with nobody else. So I told her Nia, just keep writing. Like everything will be good in a minute like and we'll be able to record again so just keep writing write all your songs so, like get everything done so i talked to nia last week it was time like it was time to get back in the studio and then she was like okay lc i got a lot of stuff wrote i probably got like 15 songs already done ready to record right now and i said all right that's cool keep writing some more though because you don't know if all those songs will be good she was like okay i'm about to like, keep up writing today and i told her i said all right we'll probably really get this girls in the hood stuff popping she was like all right i'm ready to do this i'm ready i'm ready to start making this music money for real I said, yeah, we can, like, we get this to do it. And then uh, she was telling me about her little cousin, like she wanted to ask her to the group, like her little, like she never did tell me her name, but she Lauren. said, her, huh? Lauren. Lauren, yeah, she was talking about her little cousin, I guess her name Lauren, and she was like, she really, like, really raw. Like, honestly, she probably, like, better than everybody in the group already. And I was like, okay, like, send me her stuff so I can hear her, because I ain't about to just add her if she ain't ready. She was like, okay, she never did send me her stuff, though. 
but she was like really ready to start like pushing the music. Like she had every like songs wrote, beats already ready. Like she was like really passionate about it, and it surprised me because like even with Posse, like with them, like they usually come to the studio and like pretty much freestyle. They didn't write nothing. Like <laughs> they had some songs that had, like they like, like they even want to do it half of the song, but. Yeah, she was like different. Like she was really passionate about it. Like really trying to perfect it because she had just started rapping too when they did that diss song. That was her first time ever stepping in the booth, ever. Like she, she didn't even know what ad libs was. But after she recorded the song, she, she fell in love with it, so. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep pushing the girls in the hood for her because I know that's what she wanted. And I'm not adding nobody else in the group besides Lauren if she wanted to add. Cause she wanted, that was who she wanted to add to the group. So that's the only person I will add to the group. And the other girls, if they want to still do it, they could still do it. If not, then I understand. Cause it's probably hard to still be in the group after what just happened. Yeah, she was crazy. She wasn't scared of nothing at all. Like, <laughs> like she which, was. Which is why this situation <laughs> pisses me off even more because, like, I know if she was alert, what? Shit wouldn't even happen. Like, right. That's the person I'll call when somebody got me messed up because I know she about to swing. She don't care. She don't care the story. She don't care right. what she happened. She don't care. Like, loyalty was right. everything to her. Like, even with me, like, I'm way, like, 10 years older than you, and it's like, well, nine years older than you. And, like, even when I was having a problem with, like, my, my females and stuff, she like, where's she, where's she at, FC? Just send me her location. I'll go over there right now. Like, <laughs> like no, it's just cool. <laughs> like, just, it ain't that serious. She's like, no, fuck, that is it. It is that serious. What you mean? Like, <laughs> me, it's chill. <laughs> like, she was always, uh, like, on 10, but at the same time, it was, like, all love. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, um, like, something I'm going to remember is her passion, like, she was passionate about everything she dealt with, her family, whatever it was. Like, that's why she, she's passionate about herself. She, she took two, three hours to get ready for Take school. all day to get ready. Whatever. Like, <laughs> she, she made us miss a show one time. We were doing, uh, what, what show was And Tracy. It was Cali Festa. Oh, this one. Yeah, Cali Festa. Yeah. No, it wasn't that show. It, it was not that. That's a second okay. show. They had a show with Cali Festa where, uh, I think it was Play AK, California Live. And then Nia was the reason why we was late. Like, we got there like 20 minutes late. And play a K. He didn't, yeah, he didn't, let, he didn't let us go on stage because he said it was too late to go on stage. And they had like a like a schedule, which I understood. I wasn't mad. Cause I already know how it worked. Like just being in music, like. But they was like they was mad because they don't really understand like the schedule or how it worked. It's like why can't we go on right now? We here now. Like like no, nah, it don't work like that. But yeah, she made us late to that show. That didn't phase <laughs> she made us because we just we just stayed together. We got high, and <laughs> that's what that was. So we didn't really care about that. It was never about like, I feel like when we were making music and doing all that stuff, it was never about the audience. I don't, like, I don't know if this is right to say, but it was never about that. It's because really we just wanted to all be together and all have something together. That's what made it so beautiful. We just yeah, wanted to have just something. Have fun together. with it. Like, it was never, like, we was not mad or pressed off that yeah, shit. Yeah, we was mad had about it. Like. That day. <laughs> hella fun that day. Hella fun. Like, you don't understand. Like, I had to stop the. Police from getting off of her. <laughs> like, right. Police. Oh my God. Like the show, this show right here in Roseville, it was her and Diamond. They called me like, hey, boo, come hurry up, pick us up. We about to go to jail. Like, y'all about to go to jail? What you mean? Oh, the, I, was, like, I was there. <laughs> no. Can I please tell that? Oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> so we were at the mall. We were looking for clothes to wear for the, the show. And, um, Something, I think one of the like security guards was just following us and Nia peeped and she was like, yes, like, <laughs> like, what, like what's up? And he was like, nothing, I just need you to mind your business. Like he was being very rude. And, like she, I don't think she would even act like that if he wasn't being such an asshole. But like he started chasing us in the mall because Nia just started running. She was like, I don't like this nigga following me. <laughs> like she, she said that, she was like, I don't like this nigga following us. Like so we just started running outside. And then they had us, um, they got us, so we just started running. They had us outside. They was like, call your parents or whatever guardians you have right now. Mind <laughs> you, we're like 16. So yeah, they're like, they're like, call your parents, whoever's out here with you guys. So we called, called Lee. 
<laughs> and he was, she was like, and see, I'm about to go to jail. Please come get me. Like, because oh, they have me. I'm about to go to jail. Oh, like, what y'all mean? I'm about to go to jail. I just dropped y'all off. Like, and I was so scared because, like, I'm a good one out the group, you know? I be trying to get ready to just calm down. So I was so scared. Like, oh, my God, what I'm going to do if I really go to jail right now? <laughs> like, me and, me and Diamond not going to care. You know, they hard body, but I'm... <laughs> like, I don't want to do this, guys. Let's calm down. No, FC, fuck that. Like, no. Yeah, that's how that happened. Damn, I forgot about that. Wow. I came out here for the first time from school to visit everybody. And uh, I called her first to come pick her up because I was hella juiced to have my license. My mom was giving me her car that day. <laughs> so I picked her up from the bill. And, um,. <clears throat> Everybody know I'm not really that good of a driver, you know. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it was some it was some dudes looking at us, and I was like, "Damn, I'm, they about to see me fuck up in this car." I'm so embarrassed. And then the first thing, like, she was like, "FC, don't be over here acting like you, you can't drive. Come on, just act like you can drive. I don't know which, how we gonna do this. We gonna do this." So um, she was trying to distract them, like she was talking to them while I was driving off and stuff. Like she was just doing hella shit. Like, and she was like, "What, bitch? You stupid. You can't drive. You can't drive." And then she was Facetime, and oh, she got on live. She on Instagram live, and she was like making fun of me the whole time. I was hella mad at her. (laughs) I was so mad at her, and I was laughing about that like for a whole month straight because I really was. I was shaking while I was driving. Like, oh shit! Like, I can't do this. (laughs) <laughs> she was laughing hard. She was always ready to ride for her family. Like, mm-hmm. if she loves you, she really loves you. If she didn't fuck with you, she really didn't fuck with you. Yeah. Like, simple as that. <laughs> Uh, you ain't about what you be talking about. Pull up to your granny house to show you what these hands about. I ain't scared of shit, bitch. I'm taking all face. Get your ass beat down like your mama in her days. Run it, bitch.